Welcome back guys for another video of Garage Gamers. Unfortunately, it's just me on my own today. Uh, Ice Cube couldn't make it. <laughs> but anyways, so today, uh, as you can probably see behind me, I'm going to give you some impressions of Quantum Break. Um, so I will have my full review up, uh, basically for the release of the game. So stay tuned for that. Um, so I wanted to just start by saying, wow. Um, so been playing this for a bit and it's amazing. Uh, graphics are just top notch. Detail is just fantastic. Uh, lots of little touches that you just, lots of wow moments. Let's just say that. Sounds great. Everything's great. Uh, the, the TV show, I can't give any spoilers. I can't reveal any details, but everything's top notch. Acting is great. Um, you know, lots of action, lots of thrills. It's really, really well done. Um, so yeah, basically I'm really, really impressed by it. Um, as I said, I can't unfortunately go into too much detail about it, but stay tuned for the full review, which, uh, will hopefully be up very soon. And, um, I now wanted to talk about Twilight Princess HD. So, um, unfortunately, as I said, can't talk much about that, but I just did put up my review for Twilight Princess HD on www.gamebug.com.au. So please go check that out. Um, I, I thought honestly, it was probably my favorite Zelda game of the series. Um, dungeon wise, just awesome. Just lots of, I don't know. It's something about the other Zelda games where I found that, okay, it's not as open world as say something like Skyrim or anything like that, but there was just too many little things that you had to do. And like, for example, in Ocarina of Time, finding the, the master, what is it? The masters, not the master sword, the giant sword that you have to build from the Gorons. You have to do all these little things and it's just, you got to go everywhere and ah, too much effort. But anyway, some people like that. I found that this game was a, a bit more linear, um, directed you pretty much where you had to go. You know, that you can go exploring a bit if you want, try and find those heart pieces and such. Um, but I, I preferred that I wanted a nice structured story and that's what it gave me. Um, and I've also got this beautiful copy, thanks to Nintendo. Thanks, guys. Um, this is the limited edition one, and I'll just give you a quick look. So you've got the game inside, very nice. And we've got the limited edition Midna and Wolf Link Amiibo. So what this does is it actually unlocks the Cave of Shadows. So if you don't have this and you've just got the standard edition of the game, uh, there is a benefit to having this, uh, as apart from the fact that it just looks amazing. And also in the collection, we have, oh, I can get it out, the soundtrack. And we've got 20 tracks on there. So that's always good. Sound quality on Zelda games. I mean, the orchestral music, everything's amazing, top notch. So please check out the full review. I highly recommend this game. If you haven't played it, or if it's your first Zelda game, or you just missed it, uh, or even to those people who got up to the opening scene, and it dragged out way too long. It still does drag out pretty long, but once you get past that, the game just opens up and it gets so much, oh, it just, it's amazing. It just really gets really good. Um, and it, it's a big contrast to say something like Wind Waker, because I found Wind Waker, I mean, I love that game as well. Very colorful, very open as well, but not as structured as this one. It's, it's, it's it's hard to get it's it's hard to get lost in this one. It's easy to get lost in Wind Waker and remember what you're even doing. Especially if you've put the game down for a while and you come back to it like I did with Wind Waker. I was like, where the hell am I? Um, so I found this one a bit more structured and and I I really wanted that change. It's also darker, grittier. Um, some pretty messed up stuff without revealing anything. Um, so I, I recommend that. So it's just going to be a really quick episode, guys. Just a little update. Um, but stay tuned next week. We'll have a proper full episode. And hopefully I will have a review of this bad boy by the time that episode comes out. So stay tuned and see you guys later. Bye!